Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing my yearly um, year in review video. So if you guys don't know what a uh, year <laughs> in my year in review video, I basically just like um, talk about what happened um, to me during the year, like each month. So like by month, I just, you know, talk about the things that happened to me. You know, some things are like more exciting than others and, you know, everything. But yeah, I really enjoy um filming these type of videos because I just like looking back on what happened to me during the year because some stuff I honestly be forgetting <laughs> like um I will look down at my notes of what I wrote and I'm like wow I forgot that even happened so yeah I just like looking back um uh, for myself um on what happened to me during the year and just you know telling you guys you know all the exciting things because you know, a lot does go on in my life that I don't like put on my channel. So that's why it is important for you to follow my social medias down below because um, I do post a lot of um, behind the scenes and like talk about things that like recently happened to me, both exciting, both, you know, um, you know, not exciting, everything. So, yeah. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that happened to me in January of 2023 was that I had really bad neck pain. And I know some of you might be all like, why are you talking about this? But I don't know, I just wrote it down. It was honestly like the worst neck pain I've ever had. Cause um, you know, I've had like bad neck pain in the past, but this neck pain was like, um, like intense. Like I couldn't even breathe. I also suffer from like a minor ear affection and I had to get that taken care of. And unfortunately, I'm sure some of you probably, you know, had experience with this, but I ended up going to an ENT doctor who was like completely incompetent. Like he acted like he didn't care um, to do his job. So then I went online and looked at the reviews and apparently like, I don't know what um, his star rating is right now, but back in January, his star rating was like a 2.54 or something like that. So that's like really, really bad. But yeah, all of the reviews, like majority of the reviews were like people saying, you know, he's not a good doctor. I remember um, this one parent said that her daughter ended up getting two ear affections from this guy. So... I'm like, oh my goodness, like, I'm glad that, you know, he didn't hurt me or anything. And then, of course, I did see, like, some reviews um, here and there. People being like, oh, you know, I had a good experience. I don't know what everybody else is talking about. And it's like, good for you. Like, it's good that you had a good experience, but that doesn't negate, you know, other people's bad experiences. So, yeah, so I basically just went online um, and I wrote a review of what happened to me. And I don't know if he saw it. I don't know if his, you know, company saw it, whatever. Um, if they do, you know, cool. If they don't, cool. I don't care. I just wanted to, like, attribute to the reviews. But, yeah, that was honestly my first experience. Well, maybe, well, yeah, I guess kind of like my first, like, bad experience with the doctor. Um, I've had like other experience with like other types of doctors, um, you know, them being incompetent, but this guy just really like, I did not like him. So in February, um, I was able to sell, okay, so if any of you have seen my unboxing of the Untamed Modal um, Zushi, um, Wei Yin and um, La Jean Nindos. So yeah, I had those Nindos. I bought them from Good Smile. You know, if you've seen, you know, the video, you'll know. And I did sell them. <laughs> I just didn't really like them anymore. I realized that I'm not really into Nindos 
like that having like all those parts and having like different ways to pose i prefer like figurines that just stand in like one pose and look pretty so yeah i end up selling those and they sold really quick of course because you know um the attain mode Zushi is like a really popular you know story and everything so yeah, they sold really quick and I was able to use that money to finally buy me an Apple Pencil that I've been wanting for like ever since I got my iPad. So I'm glad I was able to get that from selling my Nindo. So unfortunately in March, um, yeah, I was lied to <laughs> by an Etsy seller and some of you probably have, you know, experience with that. So yeah, um, the story is how with that is um so i bought a new ipad case from an etsy seller that you know makes and sells ipad cases and the etsy seller said that the item was free shipping so i thought cool you know free shipping whatever um but then when the package came to me the post office held on to the package because they said the label the seller put on the package was fraudulent and that basically means you know it's a fake label you know they did it so then they didn't have to pay for shipping and so i ended up having to pay that shipping price in order to get my package and it was six dollars but that's still like that really like turned me off from um wanting to you know buy from any more from that seller because it's like for one you lied you know you have on your listing that is free shipping when it's not just so you could get sales and then secondly when i message the seller and say hey you know the post office like has my package or they're saying like my package didn't get delivered like what's up with that and the seller once again tried to lie and be like oh i don't know what's going on i'll make you a new case blah 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 and then when i finally got my package i messaged them back and saying hey i got my package everything's cool that's it you know goodbye and so yeah i just really really do not like that seller and i do not want to buy anything else from them because it's like you didn't lie not once but twice like when i actually message you and say hey there's something going on with my package and you knew it's because you put on the fraudulent label you're still being you know, like oh i don't know what's going on i can make you a new case like no like we're done so <laughs> So in April, I end up getting a um, being getting a new product from a seller called Gico. Um, if any of you like, you know, post on Instagram or whatnot, you uh, you know, gaming content and whatnot, you might heard of them. But yeah, I end up getting a free. Um, headphone set from gco and i was really excited about that because as you guys know i have a gaming pc and i needed you know a headset like one of the things that i still needed to get was like um headphone um you know things so then you know i could wear for when i'm streaming and, and whatnot so i was really excited about getting you know not only just a headphone in general but a free one and um so far i have used it um once when i was streaming that one time but so far i really like it and another side thing that happened in april was that i have finally bought the zero escape nonary games for the ps vita i was like so excited to finally because if you guys don't know i have been wanting the zero escape nonary games for like so long um like since four years ago pretty much um three to four years ago i have really really wanted that game especially for the vita and so i just kept looking and looking and seeing like not many people selling it especially at a good price like most of the people i saw selling it well they were selling like the ps4 version which you know i've heard people say like the psv version is like way better than the ps4 when i was like i really didn't want the ps4 version and i don't really like playing visual novels on um you know the ps4 or whatever i prefer the vita um, so when I saw one seller was selling it for, I think it was like between 80 to $90. I was like, sign me up. <laughs> like that is a really good price, you know, to pay for the Vita version because 
Another seller I saw was selling it for like over a hundred and I'm like, no, but 80 to 90, like sign me up. So I finally got it and yeah, I'm still waiting to play it. So unfortunately, and this really affected me, like, um, if you guys are in like content creation, you know, you do YouTube or whatever, you guys will know that social media is really important to, you know, connect with other people to like share, you know, your videos and whatnot. So it really, really affected me badly when Twitter suspended my account. And believe me, it wasn't my fault. Um, I found out like a couple weeks after it happened that, um, unfortunately, Elon Musk, the new CEO of Twitter, um, he was trying to like do, he was trying to like suspend um, accounts that don't post at all. But unfortunately, the employee who was behind, you know, trying to do that, um, I guess they ended up like typing in the wrong code or whatever. And they end up suspending accounts that frequently post. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys will know that I post a lot on Twitter. Like I will post on Twitter like all day, every day. So naturally, you know, my Twitter got hit. I kept trying to like, you know, you know, send in tickets. Um, you know, I kept, you know, using different emails to send in different tickets. And unfortunately, after like two whole months, because I think I did this consistently for like two whole months. And unfortunately, I never got my Twitter account back. I still don't have it back. Um, I did see people say like, once your Twitter gets suspended, that's a wrap, you know, like, you know, there's a 99% chance that you would never get it back. And I, I, I completely understand it. Like I could see what they mean now because it's like my Twitter got suspended because of, you know, Twitter's error, not because of me. And I still had trouble getting it back. And I didn't understand why, because I saw other people were like getting their accounts back, but it's like my account were still not yeah <laughs> just thinking about it i'm like this is ridiculous but honestly i've made peace with it because i don't really like twitter anyway like i've grown like over the years i've grown to dislike twitter because it is so toxic you know a lot of times when you're just talking out of your butt and just like talking to yourself about you know whatever you want to vent people like to hop onto your post and just like talk crap and it's like who invited you here so it's like toxic i mean twitter is like really really like a toxic environment anyways um and i kept telling myself a couple times here and there to like take a break anyway so i kind of feel like this is probably a blessing in disguise anyways that my twitter got suspended so then i could like you know get off of twitter and honestly ever since my twitter has gotten suspended i have felt a load be lifted from me like i no longer have to worry about you know saying stuff on my twitter account and having people like you know arguing with me or whatever so it has been really really nice having that peace um it just really really sucks because i did use twitter to keep up to date with video games because you know my whole like um, platform is about video games. I really love video games. So it did really make it hard to not be on Twitter and not keep up to date on the latest video games, but it is what it is. I still have Instagram here and there. I do still see like on Google when I'm like going on Google, I do see like in the trending searches, like new, like video games, like coming out everything. So I still have like other ways try and keep up to date but twitter has like kind of like held me back from like being really up to date but you know it's the price to pay for peace i guess so june is my birthday month if you um, guys don't know and i finally got my gaming pc so if you guys have a scene when i you know unbox my gaming pc i finally got my gaming pc i was so so excited about it i honestly wish the um I honestly wish getting it would have been more exciting, but I did do deal with the headache because I had 
my friend, <laughs> you understand why I'm doing this, but I had like my um, childhood friend I've known since um, middle school. Um, I had him build my PC because, you know, he built PCs. Like he said that he builds like um, a lot of PCs. He built his own PC. So naturally I thought like, oh, well, I'll just go with him because he has experience building gaming PCs and he's really knowledgeable about what's good, what's not good. So naturally I trusted him to build my PC, but unfortunately everything went downhill once I got the PC. Um, it's once I got the PC, um, it wouldn't turn on. You know, I didn't understand why, he didn't understand why, so I sent it to be fixed by neighborhood um, you know, small business um, repair place. And the man basically said that, um, you know, like some of the wires were like got bent. And he also said that um, it wasn't like built right. Like, um, cause I have like an air cooler, not a, uh, uh, I think it's like a liquid cooler, whatever. But yeah, I have the air cooler installed. So my friend like um, built it, like he positioned it a different way, but then it was supposed to be positioned it another way. So overall, the repairman said that my PC wasn't built right. So, um, and then, you know, of course, still trusting my friend, I was like, oh, well, maybe it's UPS because he sent it to UPS. So maybe it's UPS's fault, not, you know, handling it better. So we tried to like send in like a ticket and everything. And yeah, uh, I was able to like get my PC fixed, <laughs> thankfully. But when I checked back in with my friend about, you know, if UPS got back um, into contact with him about whether, you know, um, he was going to get the money or, or whatnot. He never messaged me back. He pretty much like left me on red. Like he legit left me on red. And I don't see why. Because it's like if you didn't get the money you would tell me you know like i don't see a reason to not say yeah i didn't get the money if you didn't get the money so that's why i'm thinking maybe ups did end up refunding him the money for damages and he just didn't want to tell me have me be all like oh you know you need to send me that money because this is my pc so i pretty much just um left it alone and yeah so i don't trust him anymore <laughs> Um, and my mom kept telling me like she didn't trust him and that I should have went with my cousin. Honestly, yeah, I should have went with my cousin because my cousin also, um, you know, he built his own PC. So I really should have just went with, you know, having my cousin build it. But, you know, like I said, I trusted my friend because I've known him since middle school. Um, you know, he said that he built a lot of PCs. He was really knowledgeable. So it's like. You know, it can't be helped, but at least, you know, I finally got my piece. So in July, I started streaming, which was like really exciting. Um, but then I started experiencing PC crashes. I have no idea why. Like my PC started crashing um, ever since I used a um, USB thing because I have bought a USB thing. So then I could like easily transfer like my... Um, video files you know when i'm recording like right now um i would transfer it from my laptop to there so then i could edit it but ever since i used that um thing from the usb from like best buy my pc started crashing and i honestly don't know if it's good now because <laughs> i kept like troubleshooting it kept looking up what's wrong kept like typing in codes to like fix it so I honestly don't know if it's good right now like I haven't used it since you know like July and whatnot I'm hoping it's good but if not you know if it's still like not working right then of course you know I will take it to um, the repairman I went to before and see what the problem is and have him fix it but yeah that was really unfortunate because I was like really excited about streaming but it honestly doesn't matter now because the um blue snowball microphone that i've had for years it um went out on me <laughs> like it sadly went out on me which sucked but it's understandable because i have had it like for a few years now 
So, you know, but it just really sucked. So now I have to like wait until I get a new um, microphone, everything. But yeah, July just really just kicked me in the butt. So another thing that happened in July was that I um, got rid of a friend. <laughs> um, so yeah, it just, I'm not gonna go into too much details, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was over religion, which, you know, politics and religion, I don't like to talk about anyways. Um, if you know me, you know, I just really don't like talk about like um, politics and religion, but it's like if something is affecting me because, you know, politics and religion, then yeah, I'm going to talk about it on my, you know, social media. And that's basically what happened. I talked, um, I posted in my stories like, you know, I was venting about Christianity and she basically saw my story and messaged me and attacked me for it. And I'm like, well, first of all, you're like coming onto my page and looking at my stuff so it's like you could really just not say anything and yeah she pretty much just like kept like trying to trigger me kept trying to like push my buggers buttons try kept trying to like you know attack me for me having trauma with you know um christianity so i end up just blocking her and <laughs> Honestly, true colors, people, like, you really don't know, you know, who's a true friend or not. And that pretty much just, you know, showed me that she wasn't, if she was just going to, like, attack me over having trauma because of religion. Like, come on now. So, thankfully, in August, it was an exciting month because I finally bought an emulation console. So, yeah, if you guys seen the video that I posted of the Ambernick RG35XX, yeah, I was really excited about getting that because I love, like, I really like um, playing ROMs. I remember a long time ago on my old gaming channel, I had, like, played the ROM of um, Swordcraft Story, whatever it's called, and I really like that game, so I really wanted to play that game. I also wanted to play, like, really, like, other really old Game Boy games and whatnot. So when I discovered this Ambernet console, I was like, perfect, because I just really wanted to, like, play ROMs, and I also really wanted to play them on, like, a console that looks like you know what game boy so it's just i really like it and yeah that was just an exciting um purchase for me that month so me and my family finally got rid of cable i honestly didn't think that this day um would ever come because we talked about it like over the years of like getting rid of cable but it's like because of the channels that we watch it was kind of like hard and i didn't know like hulu tv really ex um hulu live tv didn't exist it but yeah so finally we got rid of cable because it was like getting so pricey like and it's funny because i will see people online talk about how they're annoyed at like for example hulu um they're annoyed at like how they have to pay like $80 a month or $90 a month now for Hulu but it's like that price compared to cable TV is really really good like honestly I get it you know it sucks when prices go up and you have to pay extra $5, $10, $20 but it's like when you compare that price for cable TV that is a really good price because for cable we were paying like close to $200 just for cable so it's like going from paying close to $200 for cable to only paying like 80 to 90 for like you know a streaming service you know with live TV like that's yeah that's really good so I was excited about finally getting rid of cable and yeah so far I really really enjoyed just having a streaming service, I really, really enjoy Hulu Live TV. I can still watch all of my favorite channels and TV shows. And yeah, it's just way better than cable. What also happened in August was that, um, so, story time. Um, was it like, I think it might have been like two years ago, I have filmed a picnic scene um, for this movie. And so this year, the guy, you know, who created this movie, he was filming a final like church scene uh, for this movie. So I ended up getting to like be part of that. And it was pretty fun, um, even though, you know, I'm agnostic and I'm not into like church and, you know, Christianity, all that. It was still like really fun to like film and watch because, 
there was like he legit like filmed a whole like play kind of thing and we got to like I don't know it was just like really really fun because if you would have like taken away us filming you would have thought we were just like regular people just sitting down watching you know this play type of thing but no like we was like getting to actually watch this play but also like film us watching this play so it was like really really fun um I enjoyed it and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be in it because so far every like movie and show that I've acted in as a background actor, I haven't shown up not once. Um, so I really don't know if I'll show up in this one, but we'll see when it comes out. But yeah, that was just a really exciting thing for me that month. So in September, my um, my mom's like one of my mom's oldest friends finally visited us. And I've known her since I was a kid and um, I don't think she knew I was trans. So I pretty much came out to her as trans and she accepted me. <laughs> so that was cool. So in October, and if you guys know what happened in October, then, you know, in the real world, then you'll know what I'm about to talk about. Um, but yeah, the whole Palestine issue um, yeah, I'm not going to go into it because I've said my piece, <laughs> you know, I've said my opinions and everything on my social media. So I'm not going to go into detail about this, but I basically unfriended someone, um, you know, because of this, because we had like different, um, opinions on it. And it's not just, you know, different opinions, but she legit tried to act like me being black and me dealing with like racism is not as bad as her dealing with being Jewish. And yeah, I just really didn't like that whole conversation. And again, I'm not gonna go into it because I really don't wanna open up that whole can of worms of who's the more oppressed and you know, everything because black people went through, you know, a lot of harsh things. And of course, Jewish people went through the Holocaust and everything. So I'm not going to like open up that can of worms and like go into detail. But yeah, I really didn't like where the conversation was heading when it came to like, who was the more oppressed? Is it black people or Jewish people? Um, and also on top of the whole like Palestine issue. So I pretty much just like a friend of her and honestly like I don't know what it is <laughs> um and it's funny because she's German and then the previous friend that I a friend and blocked I told you guys about who attacked me because of you know because of Christianity she was also German so I'm kind of like like believe me I do not generalize I don't like people generalize you know I don't agree with other countries saying oh all Americans are bad when you know not all of us are bad so it's like I don't like the whole generalizing thing but it's like back to back I've had two bad experiences with German people who I thought were my friends but they end up you know not being good people not good friends to me so now I'm kind of like what's going on German folks like if any of you are German can you tell me I mean I know German people are more blunt but there's a difference between being blunt and being like a jerk and these two people who I thought were my friends that are German were like straight up jerks to me they legit didn't care about me being black and the harsh realities of being black they didn't care about me having trauma with Christianity so it is kind of like like what's going on in Germany like are y'all good over there <laughs> like let me know so in November I finally bought a Kendo and um yeah I used to be a Kendo hater <laughs> I legit was like not into um Kindles at all I didn't like the whole black and white screen I like to see my books and colors and everything so I was like 100% a Kindle hater but I finally bought, bought the um bought the bullet and decided to get one because I'm like it's more convenient you know um I can have all of my books in one place um you know I'm able to like read at night without having to like turn on the light or have like a little book light and everything so yeah that was like an exciting purchase for me to finally get and I also decided to start um 
like writing books in hopes of publishing because I've always wanted to be a writer ever since I was a kid and I kind of like held off on it I guess because of my own like insecurities about you know if the books are going to be good you know if I can even like become an author but I finally decided to just sit down and start writing books so I am currently working on three books at once. I honestly was expecting this. I was only going to work on one book at a time which was going to be like my debut book but then I ended up wanting to work on this other book then now I want to work on this other book so I'm like okay so now I'm working on three books at once but it's kind of fun because it's like depending on my mood I get to like jump around and just work on whatever I want depending on my moves. If I want to work on this drama, then I will. If I want to work on that. So, yeah, hopefully one day I'll get to, like, become a published author. Because it's always been my dream. And in December, nothing much um, happened to me. Um, other than, you know, I finally scheduled my first top surgery consultation. So, yeah, I'm hoping I can finally get top surgery sometime next year because I've really, really wanted top surgery and I kept like pushing it off. So I'm finally getting my um, first appointment um, in February and hopefully it all goes well and I could get top surgery. But yeah, that's really the only exciting thing that happened in December. And yeah, so that's pretty much my entire 2023 year in review. This year has been like frustrating and annoying dealing with some parts and some people. But it's also been like exciting, buying exciting stuff and doing exciting things. So yeah, um, this year was... You know, it was it was it was up and down. It was a roller coaster. So let me know down below how um, 23 has treated you. I've heard some people say that it was a bad year for them and other people, you know, it was OK. So let me know down below if, you know, this year was a good year for you or not. And yeah, we could just talk. So like this video, like, subscribe for more. Um, not to like this, share this video. Um, all of my social media links will be down below, so go follow me. And yeah, this will be my last video of 2023. So, um, I'm I know I didn't post that much this year, it was mostly because I've been saving up for stuff, you know, saving up for you know my gaming PC. So, it's like I didn't have any extra money to really like buy any new figurines I wanted to buy or any like extra games. And everything so I'm hoping you still like the content that I posted this year and yeah so um thank you for you know being with me and you know subscribing and you know just watching my videos whether you like it or not and everything so yeah I'll see you guys in 2024